Hi everyone, I'm Sakat, the creator of the CSC, which is a tool you can use to download statistics for your clan during Clan War League. And this script, you can find it with all the information on the official forum, works very well with the Google Sheet I prepare. You have here, you have in two versions with 15 and 13 versus 13. So uh, I want to show you quickly how I use both of them. So let's open the 15 versus 15. And the first thing, of course, you can do is you can download it or make a copy. I will make a copy. This is a test. Okay, so I don't mess with the first one. And there are some information that you have to enter manually, but some you can actually get directly with the script. So let's go through it. Here at first in the tab data, you have the season. This doesn't really matter, but it's better if you're feeling it well. So we are in season 16 now in January 2020. Happy New Year a bit late. The date we started on the second, the deadline, we like to have it that the, all the players register three days in advance, but if you tolerate that they register the day before, you can change to minus one. And you see, the second will become the first. This is your clan name. You can adapt, adjust this. This update doesn't really matter. This in the middle, you don't need to change. And this information, you actually need to enter, but you can do it later. You can wrap this information with the script. In planning, it's the same, so I can delete all this. We'll come back to this once we download the information with the script. Clan stat, unfortunately, this you have to enter manually. So every time you have a war, let's say you win this one 32 to 29. This is another victory. And this is your score, it's, you have to write it horizontally. And every team, so clan number two did a war against clan number 5 and then did 45 score, per star, perfect score. Uh, so we write like this and uh, so clan number 5 against clan number 3, they did 2. They just didn't play. So then I don't forget to add a victory to your clan number 3. And so on, the rest done will be all automatic. And member stat will also come all automatically. I can, oops, I can delete this information for the moment. So let's go now to the script. If you go to the official forum, you can find it easily. And let's go here on the GitHub. So if you don't want to run the .x, I compile the file as a .x, here you have to download it. If you don't want to use the, the x and you know about Python, you can directly use the Python code. I already have the file here, so let's close this and we unzip this file here, extract here. I don't need to zip. Readme is just some information, we can keep it open for the moment. Token we will need to edit. You see, replace this by your own token. And we, be careful, we are not talking about the in-game token, we are talking about the token for the API. So, to get this, here you see, you have to go on developer.clashofclan.com and the first time you have to register to create an account. So, I already have my account. Alright, I'm in. And you go in my account. And you have to create a new key here. So once you create a new key, this doesn't matter. This is a test, blah, blah, blah. And you need to enter your IP address. So if you don't know your IP address, you can go to whatsmyip.com and you will have it. So you enter your IP here, create the key. And this will give you a, the token of the you need for the API. So I can close this. Uh, let's come back to the script and close also this. I have here my API for the token. You save it and when you do so, be sure to delete the text above. Now I can run the .x file. So, okay, my token is ready. Let's press enter. 
and I want to change I want to use this clan tag so do you want to enter another clan tag yes enter the clan tag so the new one enter and let's put yes to everything so we can see what it does and for the last one we don't need it so we can put no so now that the, you will see the script will download a few things and it, it will guide you so for example now the warlog is not public it's okay let's press enter to continue because what we want is the information for the clan war and this is always public so this one we don't need and as you can see here it's creating some text files so for some of them you might not really want them it's a bit more difficult to read but for the first one you can grab some information about your clan some statistic clan member detailed information about every single clan member this can be useful the other ones this is the whole data so don't need it this might be useful you see you it will put all the war the the war tag here and it will tell you if your clan is in the war or not so if we come back to our data tab here yes you see this information are the one i can copy past here oh yes Honestly, you don't need to keep the tag for every single war. The only one that I like to keep are the war where my clan is in, so would be this one. But good thing is, once the script is finished, which is the case here, if I open the very last file, I have all the tag where my clan did took part. So I have everything here. And also, here now it also create a war tag dot, uh, text with all the clan tags so if really you could you want to keep everything you can you know it's four by four so uh, oops four and then you can just copy past this here okay now here what you also have are the name of the opponent clan so what you can do is enter the clan of the the name of the opponent clan as long as they are tag and by the way this order is the order to which you're fighting them so it's in the correct order you just need to copy past everything here and you are good next thing now we can come back to planning because if we go down here you see we have this list here so i can go to excel so i like to do it like this and here i have my list of player but if i directly copy past it here it will break a bit the what you call them the way i prepare the google sheet so what i like to do is i go on a normal text file copy past and copy past again so now it's fine and for the tom hall everybody is tunnel 13 except the last one now this part has to be entered manually if this is if some player are available or not for some clan war so in our case everybody is available every time and everybody except our town hall 12 did every single war so I can directly copy past this here and if you see at the bottom then everything is fine you have 16 player available but let's say we are missing some player you still miss seven players same if for example during the war some are not selected it will be shown in red you have the average tom hall and so on okay clan stat already say we have to put everything manually now if i go to member stat this is the part that would take a lot of time without the script you would have to enter the star the percentage in attack both attack and defense no way we're gonna do that so we can go back to here actually and select 
all this information without the name of the players. Again, go to a text file, copy past, copy, go back to our page and past. Done. And now we have all, so we're still missing the data for the last one, but otherwise we, we can see directly how many stars, the average star, the average, average percentage. They, this is all the, what they did in attack. Same in defense. And what is more interesting is this part here on the right, which tell you how efficient the player was. This one in this player, this first player, or if I take, I will talk about myself. I gave to my clan plus 0.883 star for at, at during every single war and plus 33 percent and my rush account was not positive was not negative but was a bit negative for the percentage it's a good way to keep all this information i think that's it that's how basically i'm using these two tools together uh, on another word i can also recommend you can go and check cglitch.tk you have here also a link on the page which is if you search for a clan another tool i developed to um, uh, keep all the information of your clan during a clan world, uh, uh, clan games. So if we I check, for example, let's go to 2018, and our clan in back in that time, I can see who did how many XP in total, who was uh, leeching at the bottom, who was not like a good member of the clan, and uh, you have some detail, some progression. Okay, so I think that's it. If you have any question, you can ask me to the forum. Cheers and have a good day.